It's uh, 27 minutes past 7 o'clock. Well, as we just said before the break, uh, the Cabinet Office can't explain how they reached this figure, but it is £8 million. That is how much the government has set aside to help celebrate Charles's reign by offering his portrait to, well, its councils, courts, schools, police stations all around the country. I suppose they don't yet know how many will ask for it, cos it's voluntary, isn't it? So maybe they've put aside £8 million, but it might end up being £10.50. I don't care we if don't they know. all ask for it. It's not going to cost £8 million, is it? Well, I don't know. In the midst of a cost-of-living crisis, um, whether mm. it's £8 million or not, are frame shots of King Charles worth the millions or are royal portraits pointless? Well, we're joined by activist, author and filmmaker Femi Nylander... Morning. ..and Morning. artist Christian Furr, who painted the late Queen in 1995. I'm going to come to you first of all, Christian. Did you get eight million for painting the Queen? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I bet you do. Um, is it worth however many million it ultimately costs? Is it worth in a cost of living crisis to have the portrait of a new monarch? I understand that, that it's a contentious issue, but um, the fact that we're having this discussion is because we're in a free country and as mm. the figurehead of the free country and number one public servant, I think that our institutions, you know, our schools, our charities, our uh, embassies should have a representation of the king. And um, I think what we have to remember is that this is a one-off thing. You know, um, it doesn't happen very often. Mm. We've just seen the longest reign of Elizabeth II, 70 years and seven, mo seven months. And uh, now it's the king's turn. Mm. And, um, you know, the photograph of the queen needs to be replaced with the a photograph of the king. Mm. Did you paint her from life in 1995? I did. I had two sittings at the palace in the yellow drawing room with the queen. Gosh, how, and how long was each sitting? Uh, about two hours. And was she a good subject, as it were? Very good, very lively and a great sense of humour. Did mm. she... Did, so, when you say lively, was she a bit fidgety? I imagine she's not one to sit still very long. She was... Uh, at one point, she was moving around quite a lot. I said, <laughs> do you mind keeping your head still? And uh, she looked at me and she said... <gasps> you told the Queen what to Isn't do. Isn't it still already? <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember that. I mean, it was a big thing for you, wasn't it, to, to have that opportunity? Presumably, it, it made a big difference to your career. And there is a value of public art, generally, I guess, which you would prize. I think so. I mean, the royals are famous. And so, for artists through the centuries, they've been subjects of mm. paintings and photographs. And patrons. From, I think. And patrons. You know, from Holbein to Warhol, they've depicted the royals. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think my favourite was um, uh, Velasquez, who was a Spanish artist who painted uh, Philip IV of Spain. But those portraits are now recognised as masterpieces. Mm -hmm. And they were commissioned. And if those things weren't commissioned, we won't be able to enjoy them today and look at them, you know, so... That has to be remembered too. One more quick personal question. Did, did your hand tremble as you held the brush to begin with? Was it, was it No, I, just, I go into the zone and I've just got did to you? focus on <laughs> whatever it is that I'm painting. And the obvious question, what was she like? I think she was just, uh, you know, very um, aware of her duty, but mm. with, a, with a great sense of humour. And, uh, you know, I think she was... Uh, I, I really liked her. I've got great admiration for the Queen. I'm very thankful for the commission, you know. Oh, marvellous opportunity. Well, OK, Femi, we've Femi, got it there. you're we've a creative artist mouth. as well. Indeed. What's wrong with parking a little bit of public cash to celebrate a new king and also to celebrate a new monarch? Well, I have something for you, but I want it back. <laughs> 20, OK. <laughs> so, uh, OK, what's your point? What, what, what do you see on it? I see the Queen's head uh, wearing a crown. Um, mm -hmm. and Precisely. Yeah. Um, so, ever since I was a child, since I was got my first piece of pocket money, I've had the Queen's image. We've just seen the new stamp. We've seen the £20 note. Omnipresent, right? Omnipresent. Mm -hmm. um, and... At the end of the day, familiarity breeds comfort and comfort breeds empathy and empathy breeds familiarity. And when you see someone's image... I mean, I have a grandma. She doesn't look anything like me. She's five foot three, white lady from Borrowdale. Mm. Um, but <laughs> if everyone in the UK saw her image their whole lives and heard stories about her their whole lives and stood up and sang, God save Femi's gran, <laughs> they'd love her too. Um, this is something which is 
well known culturally across different societies. It's something which actually has been seen in a lot of um, countries where they have things called cults of personality. A lot of leaders in other countries um, who want to stay in power for a very long time will assign portraits of themselves to be hung in every place throughout the country. Stalin did it. Um, Idi Amin did it. And I'm in no way comparing the Queen to these people. I'm saying well, you that... You sort of are. No, 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 no. The, and want... the difference is, is this is voluntary. This is if people choose to do it. It goes in a long history of tradition. And why should King Charles be the first well, monarch to not have it done? Well, this isn't voluntary. This is, if, I, if I want cash, I have to have the Queen's image on it. And soon I'll have to have Charles' image on it. It's going to cost a lot of money by the way, to recall all the banknotes that already exist and reprint them in order to have a new face on, and then it's going to have to happen again whenever the next one So, in effect, comes. you're saying that, that we've got quite enough portraiture um, of... ..we will have of, of the King to, to need to commission and spend up to £8 million this on fresh portraits. This is the thing. Another, another thing with this £20 note, if I divide £8 million by 20, I get 400,000 of these. Now, if I come across one of these in the street, and, I mean, I don't know about yourself, it might be toilet paper to you, but for me, I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to have a smile on my face. If I find yeah. 400,000 of these in the street, I'm going to be ecstatic, because £8 million pounds is a hell of he a lot of money. He makes a reasonable point, doesn't he, actually, that actually we have plenty of portraiture of, of the monarch. We have it of the Queen, we will have it of Charles, on coinage, on stamps and on banknotes. Uh, why do we need separate portraits? Good point, actually. Well, I love the idea of a pocket portrait. I think everyone should have a pocket portrait. I think that's a great idea. Um, but I think in this case, um, it's, the, it's a reminder of something that's good about the, you know, the, the freedom of speech in this country. And I, th I don't see why there shouldn't be a reminder of that in, in, our, you know, in our institutions. All right. OK, thank you both. Of course, you'll, you'll know that in Australia, they've just decided to remove the portraits of the monarch mm -hmm. from the $5 bill. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the beginning of the sort of the demonicising. They, they some kind of Aboriginal figure to yes. represent their yes. fuller history yes, I think right. than the be, recent centuries. I think that would be a great idea. I think that this idea of the Commonwealth and this idea that the Queen should be the head of state in <laughs> other places in the world where her relationship to Indigenous peoples and her relationship and, and the Crown's relationship to Indigenous peoples is, is, is questionable. Some, to Whole say different the argument, least. that one. We'll have a, have a debate yeah. on that another day. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful.